welcome back to another video and hello to the beauty room family how are you all doing today and how was your day today i hope it was a great day today a bless a day for you all hope you got home safely and soundly and children i hope you had a great day in school pay attention to your teachers or assistant teachers to the principals assistant principals staff and entire staff of each and every school elementary from kindergarten elementary to even daycare i hope you all had a great day today at work um, i hope it wasn't as stressful and hope you had a great and easy going day today i just got off work about a about less than about a half an hour ago so I just got home and relaxed and just for a little bit before i wanted to do a video and yes today it's june 7th 2022 it is 7 30 p.m eastern standard time in the evening time so happy tuesday to you all god bless you all so so much i appreciate you. i appreciate you all so much and yes and um monday and sunday i was just so blessed and grateful to see the views the likes of my two videos that i just did and i know um i have a lot to do other videos for which they're coming coming i'm coming and also with my cooking with my cooking channel that is coming up as well i'm just trying to get things together for that separate channel by itself and i just want to say god bless you all for just hanging here with me from the beginning when i was doing youtube and before god bless you all so much you mean the world to me thank you all so much and yes we have 44 more days to hamilton and i big say if you did not know that hamilton is my fiance soon to be husband yes in 44 more days we're just super duper blessed and, ex and excited oh my goodness yes so he's getting him and his guys together ready for their trying on for just their uh, their vest most high sh shirts and pants and shoes and socks yes oh my goodness the time now as I think about it from last year, I was saying, oh my Toledo, I have a whole year to go. And now, 2022, blessed and grateful, wedding bells, I have 44 more days. Well, we have 44 more days, not just me. It's us together as a married, soon-to-be couple. Yes, we have 44 more days. Oh my gosh. That's the time when you proposed to me um last year it was just like a heavenly cloud i was already on clouds when i met him because when i first met Hamilton, he took my literally took my breath away and i was just like wow he's handsome he's hot <laughs> that's what i said to myself in my brain you know and i kept asking other employees all about him you know but that's in um a video of how we met I did that like last year so definitely look at that video if you want to know how we met and then i did a video recently too as well um uh, like we how we talked and got together and been like really good best friends you know first and you know you have to you know for the guy that you like you just can't you know quickly quickly date him you know you got to get to know him and he has to get to know you you know and if you're all in a relationship god bless you keep going strong with your relationship ladies and guys you know um just for support encouragement you know keep it going keep it going for your relationships because in the future you know he's you know girls you know ladies i'm sorry not girls ladies if you see that man as your future husband you know he is and god spoke to you and told you he's your future husband and your family approve your mom and dad approve of them they like them you know with Hamilton I's situation um it's like with my family that's on my dad's side and my dad and my stepmom uh, <laughs> you know my dad's like a serious type of you know man and you know he he has to have the approval you know of who his daughters are dating and seeing you know because he wants to get to know you know a guy you know who's in his daughter's life so you know i'm first born and then some years later in late late 80s it was my my uh my sister was born you know so you know and yeah but before we get started i just want to tell you that little quick little um story you know and to let you know that the box i'm going to be doing uh the makeup tutorial is from city colors so definitely go to www.com c-i-t-y 
C-O-L C-O-L-O-R-S dot com citycolors.com for their makeup whatever makeup that they have online is very affordable it's affordable for your wallet and for your buck and it comes pretty quick within i say seven days or less sometimes it may take you know more than seven days because it depends on the city and state that you live in i believe city girls i'm sorry city girls City Colors, excuse me, sorry. City Colors is from Los Angeles, California, where I'm from, born and raised, a native. But yes, but I believe City Colors is from Los Angeles. But if I'm correct, I believe I am. But um, you can definitely look up, you know, where City Colors came from before you want to uh, order makeup from that, from that website or line, you know. Definitely do your research with that. So... That way you'll know, you know what I mean? you know where City Colors is from, you know, how their brand is, things like that. But yes, um, the foundation that I used, of course, from yesterday's video, the AOA, like a drop foundation. This is in the Buildable Satin Foundation, so it's, it's buildable, medium to full coverage. And the shade that I am in is 311 Cappuccino. This is from Shop Miss A. You also have other um, foundations that's in the lighter skin tone. If you're not in my skin tone, they have it in this shade. And I believe like a little bit darker than this as well. If you're darker than me. And they have shades from medium to ivory and to like light. So definitely check out Shop Miss A. And for that foundation, it was like between $1.55. And then the AOA Studio Paw Paw Concealer. <clears throat> liquid concealer this was a dollar 55 so any AOA studio brand that you see it's more than a dollar so it's between like a dollar 55 and, and up so today's video we're going to do this color city I'm sorry yes city color wow city color palette and this does last for about 18 months and this is in E0096 so make sure before I apply this foundation I mean, eyeshadow palette make sure you are relaxed just getting off work kicking back having any snacks that you want to grab chips cheetos whichever and something to drink of your choice and make sure you have a notepad with pen or pencil whichever is your favorite to write with and yes and if you want to see the things that i've gotten so far write them down in your notepad and definitely go to www c i t y c o l o r s dot com i'm telling you you're going to like city colors because it's a very good brand and it's affordable like i said again i can't say it enough it's for it's a good reasonable affordable price it's very good for your buck and for your wallet and it comes within i say about 7 to 12 14 days or later maybe or, and it just also depends on your city and state where you live at. So definitely, yeah. Yep. So, let's get right into it. So, first thing I'm going to take out the box is the City Color Eyeshadow Primer. This goes for your eyelids. And did I take the package off? No, did not. Okay, so, yeah. So, I hope you all had a great day today. It's Tuesday no rain but we had rain yesterday in michigan if you're you know from michigan you know and you know all about you know the weather and you've been here for a very 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 long time in the state of michigan you was born and raised you know you're a native from michigan i'm not so <clears throat> i got to michigan in 1994 and i was about 15 and a half going on 16 a month later that my mom and i came to michigan but yeah this is the city color eyeshadow primer i love it it's like a very light light nude like ivory and when i do primers i make sure that they are a shade lighter than my eyelid because i want the color to really pop onto my eyelid you know so it can look really good onto my eyes if i'm going anywhere if i'm not going anywhere i'm just at home whatever you know so Yes, this is what it is, and this was 
Um, well, I already told you the price, so this is just the eye primers. Um, so I'm going to apply that with a brush. I'm trying to figure out what brush do I need to use. <coughs> so I'm going to take this Shop Miss A Urban Studio Concealer Brush in 206 to apply this primer onto my eyelid because I haven't used eye primer in a while ever since I've been doing like you know with concealer and then making sure it don't have that crease onto my eyelid I'm just setting it with a inflammable L'Oreal Paris inflammable and 800 and cocoa just setting it all over to my whole entire eyelid except under my eyebrow so yes so that is what I've been doing and my color has been coming out really really good onto my onto my eyelid so I'm just applying a very light motion and I already did my foundation I did not do my eyebrows just yet so I'm just applying a very small amount and I'm not um, putting any more excess of this eye primer on to my eyelids so I'm just putting it a little bit above my eyelids just to make sure that I'm getting exactly where I want this to go when I apply the eyeshadow so yeah it's gonna get just a little bit right there so I haven't used eye primer in a minute so I just want to just see how this works and so that way you all can see if you all are considering getting their eyeshadow primer from City Colors I want you to see how it'll um, go on about you know if you're um, if you're lighter than my skin tone or whichever or darker you know you can definitely always use you know substitute if you don't want to get the if you still want to get the primer but it's for like your clients you know like I say if you're like a makeup artist or whichever or you just got out of uh, cosmetic school you know and um, yeah you want to get that for your clients you definitely can so yeah, I'm just going to just apply the eyelids I just want to just, um, already have this on so when after I do my eyebrows I want this to really set on to my eyelids so that's why I'm trying to put it on early now I'm not putting a whole lot onto the brush I'm putting just about that amount on and I'm not using my fingers or anything I'm just adding my fingers right here and just um, bringing my eyelid you know you know uh, stressing it out so that way um, I won't get any creasing but there's you know you may do get like some creasing when you apply some eye primer onto your eyelid you know just be careful you know take your time when you do apply the primer that's only if you have time to really apply makeup onto you know to your skin to your face you know you want to be looking cute before you walk out the door if you have time and yeah so just put just about a good amount on and if you put like a little bit too much just take a not a towel but you want to just take um like a tooth, not a toothpick, but a cotton swab, you know, you know, um, cotton swab if you messed up or whichever. Just take a very little from that and just blend it out, you know, and then just wipe it all off again with the, you know, with that and then just start all over. And then you have your the primer. Just want to just put just a little more extra on just in case. So. And this brush is from Shop Miss A. It's just for $1. And again, this is the concealer brush 206. So, and I'm done using this brush, the concealer brush by Urban Studio. Well, definitely check out Shop Miss A for the Urban Studio brushes. They're very good brushes to, um, to use for applying your eyeshadow, for applying any foundation to your skin. I really do like their brushes. I try to get as much brushes as I can from Shop Miss A. Or from Shein, you know, brushes, makeup brushes as well. So now, since I got that on, I'm going to apply the eyebrow pencil. And this is the B, the Behold Brow, and this is in dark brown. So this is E, 
0084-3 in dark brown. So this is the pencil part. And it goes really up high. I'm not going to put it up too high because I don't want the pencils to break. So I'm just going to go about like right there. And I'm just going to definitely just shape my eyebrows of how I already have them shaped already. And you want to make sure when you do your eyebrows, make sure you have a, a handheld mirror. A mirror like this, you can still hold. You know, I got this mirror from Family Dollar for about 7 to, I say about 7 to $10 for this uh, mirror here. So I'm gonna look in the mirror just to make sure I have it right. Hmm. I'm gonna have to use my uh, my wet and wild brush, my Sema Brown brush. You know that's my go-to because I want to get that wing look, that thin look on the end of my brow because I don't have any much hair on here or on this side much. So um, I'm just gonna still use this brush. I mean, brush. Use this pencil. So you know. I might use the seam, um, the wet wild well brush. I might, I just might just, just continue to go on just, you know, like this because that way you can really, you know, see. I don't want to have two different, you know, eyebrow pencils using, you know, because I want you to get the full effects of these products so you can actually see for yourself of how they look. But I'm going to probably have to because it's just like a little bit too light, but, you know, um, I'm just going to have to use that pencil, but I'm going to use the spoolie part, so. So, I'm just taking my Wet n Wild Sigma Brown pencil and, um, and A603, um, A. So, I mean, C603A, Seema Brown. I'm just, just going to just do a very, like, a stroke so I can get the end of the, that look, and like, that, that wing that I want to get. Because I think when I ordered the pencil, I think I just got a shade too lighter. That's why. So, I'm going to order, like, another type of, um, like brush so that way I can get like not a lighter, well, lighter brush on. I'm going to order excuse me I'm going to order like what am I doing? I'm going to order like a um, a darker brush I think that's what I'm end up going to be doing ordering a darker brush brush Don I'm going to order a darker pencil Something like ebony. I might probably have to end up doing that because I just thought about it because of my hair. It's like black, you know. And sometimes like when like a brunette type of, of eyebrow pencil will work for me. Will work best for me. But, you know, it seems like it's not doing its job today. So, I'm just taking my brush. But you, I mean my brush, my pencil. Woo! Excuse my mouth today is it's horrible, <laughs> but um I but I did use the product you know the product the pencil I'll show you how I feel and I'll review I'll do a review about it um after the video I just want to just get like okay I don't want to use um that much pencil that much of it because I really want you all to see the effect of the pencil from City Color. 
so if you're thinking about ordering with this pencil you can but i would just recommend to get the shade that's like a darker skin tone of your eyebrows so you can you know really um get that look you know but i um but it's not too bad you know it's just that it's just a shade um too light i need to get a darker shade so i'm gonna have to order another pencil of this um and get a darker shade get like the ebony because that may be the best for me because of my hair is black you know so all right that's that so um so far mm, so good so i'm going to try out the palette but not just yet yes yes i'm going to try the palette now so that way i can um uh, get the palette together so hmm I'm going to, to do, you always want to go with a transition sh shade that's lighter than your skin tone or about, yeah. So I'm, I already have the eye primer of like something like this right here. And this is called Fresh. So I'm going to go down to this shade right here. It's called the Alameda. Alameda right here. It's like a this shade i'll show you so it's like that shade so i'm gonna go with that shade because that will match my eye my eyelid a better so i'm gonna go in with my wet and wild blending brush this is from that new collection that they have onto wet and wild website so i'm gonna go in with that and i'm just gonna just that's a good pigmentation so far so good brush it off and i'm coming up close so you can see what i'm doing and i'm putting it about like right here and brushing it uh doing the windshield wiper motion and so far pretty good so far and not bad at all it's to my liking but if you're like a lighter shade than me definitely make sure you use any type of brand of, of eyeshadow primer that you want to use that's um it could be affordable it could be you know high end if you want just so you can get that precise look that you want for your eyelids you know if you're going anywhere whichever or you're going to an event you know with family and friends and you want to look really really good so now i'm going to go in <clears throat> with this orange orange type of shade right here orange type of, sorry orange type of shade which is right here and this is called the picante so to me this is like um what is that brand that they had the uh that on oh, that palette on as if I'm wet and wild or something like that, but I think it was the Chipotle. Yeah, the Chipotle. This is like the Chipotle to me, so it's like it, but you know, but definitely. Um, I hope you can get that palette, but I don't know. I think that was just like limited edition and I missed out on that. But I hope that, um, that website I cannot think, I think it's either. You know, wet and wild or elf or something it was one of those two websites that had the chipotle um uh um eyeshadow palette and i really would like for them to bring that back because i want to have it in my collection so anything from like nickelodeon or from like a food restaurant that came out with eyeshadow palette i definitely would love to have it because you know i don't have those type of palettes and so far it's not looking bad at all. I want to have it like a little bit more orangey. So I'm going to put a little bit more in. 
just a little bit. And I'm looking in my mirror just to be exact. So definitely check out this palette from City Color. It's not bad. Um, you know, I don't really put like a lot of shades onto my eyelids because I have hooded eyes. So I don't put like a lot of shade. I mean, yeah, like I a lot of eyeshadow palette onto my eyelids because, you know, <clears throat> I just have hooded eyes and I feel that you know when I do a look I'll be like Lord please let it come out please make up God help me <laughs> that is what I say before I do a video <laughs> but so far not bad it's type of like of a neutral type of you know thing but I really want to use these these three right here next time so I'm going to do another look with this palette but I just wanted to you know show you all Oh, so I dig that first. Should I dig in that palette first? I mean, this shade right here. So I'm gonna go back into this shade right here, just to put that on to my eyelid. And just when you put on your eyeshadow, make sure you have a very good blendable brush, or you could have a a, a brush like this, but have that type of edge edge angle edge like right there, so you can just pat it like that and then you know pat 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 you know whichever it works for you much comfortable for you you do what you have to do to apply your eyeshadow to your eyelids okay just do what's just do what's best works for you i'm doing the best what's best works for me but you know i'm not a makeup professional over here trust me i'm not <laughs> trust me on that one <laughs> But I do the best that I can, and I love the looks that comes out, you know. They're not perfect, you know, but that's okay, you know. And, yeah. Okay, so that is going to my eyelid. It's not looking too bad, you know, as you get in more into it. But yeah, like I said, make sure you have a very good blendable brush. You know, you can get high-end brush you can use. You can use, you know, affordable brush, you know, brushes that works best for you for your for your look, you know. And I think that's all how I want to just get this going. I don't want to put another, you know, on here. So I think just those two will work good just for me. And now um, for the shimmer. Hmm. I kind of want to mix in both of these right here. It's called Block. Block right here. And um, Ice. So let's see how Block look. I know you probably seen it last time. Mm. Now let's check out ice. Let's see how that looks. Mm -hmm. I think mm, I think I will go. I always do like a type of like either like a lightish type of light or can I explain it like almost white. I want to do something different, so I'm gonna go in with this white. Let's see how that looks, because I've never tried it onto my eyelid. Let's see, let's see, it's these. Ooh. Okay. I think I'll go with the white, because I've never done it right before, so. Hopefully. Fingers crossed, okay? Okay, together. Fingers crossed together, right? Right, okay. So, I'm going to just try it. Why not, you know? This is what... Life is woo, all about. <laughs> wow, holy moly! <laughs> holy moly! Holy moly! Holy moly! Wow, hmm. okay, that didn't look too bad. Not too bad, right? All right, so it's gonna apply to uh, the other eye. 
think I'm going to go in with that green just to maybe, maybe bring it out. But I think I'm good with what I got so far. I don't want to go too far over, too extreme. But you know what? Sometimes you got to get out of your comfort zone. So, you know, do what's best works for you. Wow, this don't look too bad. Wow, with the white. Okay. All right. Mm. Okay, so that is done with that. So I, um, if I was like a lighter skin tone, I would just this darn streak. Sorry about that. Mm. Excuse me. So if I was like a little lighter, I would add some green, like right here, you know, to give it like a pop, you know. But this wasn't too bad of a palette. So I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna tell you my end results at the end. So I'm basically about done, and I want to apply. The mascara, I definitely want to try this new mascara and to see how it looks because I've never tried, you know, I always like to try different mascaras and just to see how they are, you know, for a month or so until I run out and then if I buy it again, I buy it again. But I, you know, if I do, I'll put it into my empty container, you know, and, um, and I will do a video about that. So, yeah. So we're basically almost done, really. Let's see how in the heck do you... Ooh. Super cute, right? I love the pink. It's called B Fatty Mascara, and it's in black. And it's a hot pink. I love that. And I love the wand size of it. Yes. So, yes. Just going to apply this. And, yeah. Let's see what it, see what it does. Okay. Okay, as you can see, like right here on the side, just a little bit, you know. I wish I knew how to do some lashes. I'll put lashes on. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, girl is just trying to. Whew, I'm working on that. <laughs> By the end of this year, I'll be a pro at applying lashes. Okay, so, alright, one more eye down, and I'm good, and then lip liner and the lip oil. All right, so yep, that is that with that, and now it's going to be for the lip liner. And you all, I promise, I'll be a pro at putting these cute, adorable um, lashes, falsies onto my eyes, so you can really see. Because like when you do your makeup and you really want to be like, bam, like bam, like that, you know yes um that will make your look just beyond gorgeous so to me you know so but i'm working on it and so this is the lip liner and this what is the name it's called luke's or leaks uh leaks or luke's but it's l-e-w-k-s i'm probably damaging the whole entire name so i'm gonna stop 
because I'm embarrassing myself. <laughs> so. Okay, and the lip liner is on. Not bad, not bad. And the lip oil, love the packaging. And yeah, pink. <laughs> yes, so I mean, wow, you can definitely have this onto your lips. Just tap, 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 or go like this. But I like to tap, tap, tap because I like to get that super duper shine, you know. So your lips can look glossy and explode for your boo. Yes, so the box is totally empty. So, all right, what do you all think? Hope you liked it and definitely give City Colors, yeah, I just said it right. <laughs> Go me. <laughs> so, yes, City, Cur um, City, Co uh, City Colors, make sure you go into that website, make sure that you look and before you put into your cart see what's affordable for you and and definitely enjoy city colors this is my first time ever using city colors i've never heard of i heard of it you know a few years ago but never decided to use it so i said why not use it this year so that's what i did okay first thing first the eyeshadow primer was a good thing to have loved it so that was a a nine to me loved it affordable price so definitely check out this on to city colors it's called the i it's called city color shadow primer definitely get this it is no matter what shade of color that you're in this will go flawless with your eyeshadow look whatever look you want to have attached to your eyelids definitely love that the mascara i love because it gave me a little bit of volume but maybe you have to put like a couple of coats. I like to just do like one coat, you know, not too much because when I take all the makeup off plus, you know, the mascara part, you know, I don't want to have that clumpiness, you know, onto my, onto my lashes. So yeah, but if you want to have the extra, you know, valueness, you know, you know, when it, you want to apply this mascara, you know, not have any falsies on, you want to have this with, yes, this is, a, this is an eight. I get this to eight. I love it because of the packaging, of course, the color. So anyway, but yes, I do love this. So I give that an eight. And this is a ten out of ten, hands down. Mwah. Chef's kiss. Love this. Love, love. This. I love the packaging. Of course, you know I'm a pink girl. I love me some pink. But I love the lip oil. I wish they had like some other um, colors with the lip oil i wish they did but you know this is good enough you know for me so i love it 10 out of 10 and the lip liner yes um but when you do apply the lip liner definitely make sure you have the lipstick whatever lipstick that mess that's mess that's best match your lips to the lip liner that you apply to your lips make sure that you have the matching lipstick so you when you want to apply gloss you can't or lip oil i'm sorry lip oil you can if you want because with the lip oil it gives you more like of a natural not too much of a shine glossy um onto your shine to your lips it gives you just enough just enough but if you want that extra extra lip shine use a anything that you have from your makeup collection either even if it's from like your beautify store or anything like that definitely make sure you have that and it will work out good for you 
or if you want to just use a lip liner and just the lipstick by itself no lip gloss nothing that's fine too as well you know have that matte look on your lips yes so this was a a nine out of ten loved it okay this was a no-go for me because as you can tell i'm getting a look closer you can see i mean it did its job i do like the look but i think i may need to go like a little bit darker so i'm going to order another one and yes this is the precision tip waterproof eyebrow pencil with the pencil here and then the spoolie right here i love the spoolie and i love the design to this but i need to be like oh maybe like a little more darker like an ebony but not black you know not you know black you know onto your eyebrows ladies you know do not have that onto your eyebrows do not have black but maybe i need to just work with this a little bit more and then just continue to still use my sema brown from wet n wild pence eyebrow and eyeliner pencil you know excuse me, i'm so sorry to get that look you know that i want so this wasn't too bad but maybe i need to just try it a little bit more but mm, i say about a seven six or seven you know from a ten so yeah but the eye shot the eyeshadow palette the um the lapina l-a-p-e-n-a -E with the pineapples on it definitely put this in your cart when you go to cd on to the website of city color definitely go to the website right now check out city color right now i love this palette they should have this still onto the website this was a very very good palette i loved it affordable you know i really enjoyed using this only one time of use but i will get some more usage out of this palette i really liked how the look came about it looks very good and if i it was hamilton i were to go somewhere i would get compliments you know so i love that you know when i do wear makeup i love getting the compliments you know onto my look you know of course i will you know add some lashes and that's really what make your look you know you know pop you know so anyway, definitely check out this palette and i'm gonna show you this other palette too as well when i do a look with this one this is from city color as well this is the groovy eyeshadow palette so you can definitely wear this now if you want or wait you know for another month or so but i would definitely try to wear this now so i would do another i would do a look on this specifically palette by itself but this i would do this again so that was pretty this was this was this was fun to me using this palette it was very fun i love the colors very neutral natural type of colors you know if you are um whatever skin tone that you are this look will look very pretty on you so definitely if you're wanting wanting to get out of your comfort zone and you want to get these palettes this was about four dollars and then this palette was about seven dollars from city color so definitely check out this palette it's called the eye it's called the groovy eyeshadow palette and then this was the pina the la pina l-a-p-e-n-a eyeshadow palette very good affordable size to put into your traveling makeup bag if you're going somewhere for this weekend you're making the plans now you know or if you've already been made the plans just a couple of months ago you know and you're going to a cabin with your family you know and friends you know you want to put some you know pick yourself together just a little bit you know while you're on vacay there's nothing wrong with that then the lashes you will see me apply some of these, these lashes on to me <laughs> very soon so i'm trying to get the practice on how to apply falsies i've been looking at a lot of youtube you know onto youtube women um uh, teaching you how to apply some lashes but yeah that is the end of the video god bless you all please stay safe enjoy your tuesday god bless you all have a blessed and wonderful week stay safe stay encouraged dream big with your dreams and goals whatever they are make them accomplished because if you can if you can do it you can achieve it anything is possible so stay lifted up and never look down 
So put your left left foot forward and your right foot forward, and you and you gotta walk straight. Gotta walk straight. So God bless you all. Please stay safe and have a blessed and wonderful week. And I'll talk to you in another video. Bye.